and welcome back to a new video. Thank you so, so much for being here and spending your time watching my video. Hope that you're doing amazing. So for today's video, I have a really fun one. I was supposed to be decluttering my makeup, but I thought I would do this video instead while I also declutter my foundations. I don't know, I thought it would be a good idea to just take all of my foundations in my collection and rate them from one to five stars. I was gonna do one to 10, but I think that's just gonna be too much. <laughs> so it's gonna be one, one to five stars, uh, obviously one being the lowest, something that I really didn't like, and then five being the best in every category. So let's get started. Obviously all of these foundations are cruelty-free, vegan, and most of these are more on the natural side, but I will tell you when I talk about each one. Hopefully you enjoy this video and this could be a way that I show you what's in my collection right now in every category. Let me know in the comments down below or by liking this video if you like this little idea of a video where I just, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one right here. This is the Alima Pure Press Powder Foundation with Rosehip Antioxidant Complex and this is the refill I got in the color Ginger. I got this when they were having a sale of their foundation and I've been wanting to try some of their loose either loose or pressed powder foundation come in a little refill it's not the compact itself and I just didn't mind getting the refill because I do have magnetic palettes that I can just pop this in it comes with a little esponja what is this called like a little puff the shade is a little light for me but I do like the fact that it does have a yellow undertone did not like it I tried it so many different ways, not a fan. I would have to give this a one. One star, half of a star actually. <laughs> I just did not like it and again it's just because of my skin type, I do have combination skin, but I do lean more on the drier sides. So one out of five stars, that is my rating for the foundation from Melima Pure. This is in no particular order, I'm just picking foundations out of this little basket that I have, everything. Okay, well, we're just gonna talk about this one because this one came out. Uh, this one is from the Lip Bar. And as you can see, I use quite a bit of it. I bought this in 2020. I bought a whole bunch of products directly from their brand, but you can find them at Target. I absolutely love a lot of their products and they have become staples in my collection. Uh, but this one, on the other hand, just did not like it. I struggled so much with this foundation to like it and to make it work. So this, I would have to give it Maybe like a two, two stars out of five, only because I just couldn't find the right shade. I think I tried two or three different shades and they just have like an orangey hue. Like every single shade that I tried had an orangey hue that just did not look good, especially in natural lighting. Like on camera, it looked okay, but in person, my wife, every time I would wear it, she's like, why do you look orange? <laughs> understand why they put this brush on here I mean actually yes I do understand why it's on here it's very convenient if you like to do your makeup on the go or you can pop this in your makeup bag and just do your makeup and blend it and you just have a brush and your foundation in one tool like in one component so I get why it's there I just do not like it I find that the brush is so dense and it's so tiny and just took me forever to blend everything out maybe if the brush was a little bit bigger kind of like this one right here like the one from elf uh, this one is the ultimate blending brush from elf but you see how big this is and look at how little this is see the comparison so so tiny and it is soft like somewhat but it's so tiny and it's very dense i just did not like it um, so the foundation itself i do like the formula i just couldn't really wear it much because of the shade so i did wear it a lot like during filming because i felt like that's the only time it looked okay um it is more of like a satin it's not like super dewy it's kind of like a satin finish uh great coverage it's called the fast face skin serum foundation with hyaluronic acid and irish irish moss extract i got it in the shade 202 Actually, let me give you a swatch of that. Uh, so the way this works is you press it and it comes out. And let me swatch it right here so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it does kind of have like a peachy, orangey hue. Do you see that? It just did not work out for me. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it does oxidize. So as soon as it starts drying, 
uh, it starts to kind of change color and it turns even more orangey. Like I don't understand why. <laughs> did, I did want to try for like two more lighter shades, but at that point I was just kind of fed up and frustrated that I couldn't find a shade. So I just kind of quit. So yeah, two out of five stars for the lip bar foundation. Okay, next next I have a cream stick foundation. This is from Mented Cosmetics and this is the color L10, which is the lightest shade that they carry at the moment. Mented Cosmetics is a brand that is geared for people of color, people of deeper complexion. So this is their lightest shade. I really do hope that they come out with lighter shades and more shades just in general because I don't really have that many. I haven't done a video reviewing this, but I think I am because I do have all of the shades in little sample form. So I can give you like a swatch video and like an in-depth review of this foundation. But just right now as a rating, I would give it a four stars because again, it's not a good match. Even though it is the lightest shade, it's still a little bit darker. This is actually what I'm wearing on my skin today. I did mix it with another foundation that I'm gonna talk about in a bit. Uh, this one's light and this one's a little darker. So I kind of mix them together to kind of give me a better shade. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just a cream stick foundation. Love the formula. I think the formula is great. I do have a video where I use this. I'll link it down below. It's kind of like a get ready with me, but this is what it looks like. It's actually a really nice shade. I like the shade and the undertone. It's just a little bit darker. If they had one shade lighter, I would have to go with that one. Great formula, love the way it looks, love the way it blends. It looks like skin and it adds great coverage. So four stars out of five for the Mented Cosmetic Cream Stick Foundation. Moving on to another cream stick foundation. This is from Merit Beauty. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but I did already film a whole brand review featuring Merit Beauty. If it's already live, I will leave it down below if you wanna check it out, but this is their foundation that they sent me to try out. Another stick foundation, this is what it looks like. This is in the color Bisque. Not my shade, it is on the lighter side. Uh, so this, this foundation can be used as a foundation or as a concealer under your eyes. And that is actually what I've been doing is using it as a concealer instead of a foundation or just mixing it with darker foundations to kind of create a custom shade. I would have to give this a four stars out of five only because the shade is not a good shade for me. And if I don't prep my skin really, really well, exfoliate, highly moisturized serums and everything it doesn't look great on me it clings to my dry patches it emphasizes my fine lines and just doesn't look all that great so i do have to prep my skin so it's kind of a lot of work to make it work so it's probably not something that i would buy myself but moving on to the one from exa beauty this is one of my favorite foundations but it's not the right shade i'm gonna have to just give you a better swatch because this swatch is just not that great, but hopefully you can see that it is a little bit on the darker side for my skin tone. It does give you more of a dewy finish and it does get more dewier throughout the day, at least on my skin. Um, I got the color Seb 290 and this shade would have been fine if I still tanned like during the summer. Usually during the summer we go on vacation and I get tanned and I just lay out in the sun, but that's not gonna happen anymore. Now that I know the damage that the sun can do to you, I just stay away from the sun. Like if I'm gonna go in the sun, I wear a hat, I wear SPF. So because of that, my skin on my face doesn't really change color anymore. I mean, maybe slightly, but not that much anymore. So this would have been perfect for summer if I was a little bit more tanner, but I still use this because I do love the formula. I do love how it looks, very beautiful. I do have a whole review on this uh, foundation I'll link it down below and if I have any reviews on any of the foundations that I'm talking about now I'll leave it down below as well anyway so I would have to give this a 4.5 out of 5 I love it love the formula love how it looks it blends amazing I did I did take away the 0.5 because it's not a good match I would have to go for a lighter shade so once I finish this one up I will probably pick up um, a lighter shade. Moving on to the ones from Bite Beauty. These were sent to me as PR. I do have a whole video reviewing this foundation, so I'll link it down below as well. But this is a great foundation. I really like the way it looked. It gave me great coverage, very buildable coverage. I would say like medium to maybe full coverage. I really liked it, the way it looked. And the color M55 is somewhat of a good match not like perfect it's been it's been a while since i found a really good match for my skin tone 
it's hard. My only con is the scent. I don't know why they added a scent. Bite Beauty is more like a natural brand, so I don't know why they added fragrance to their foundation. Hopefully they can reformulate and get rid of the fragrance because because it does linger on the skin throughout the whole day. It even leaves my brushes smelling like it. It's kind of floral. I don't know how to describe it, but I don't really like the scent. So I would have to give it four stars out of five again because I don't like the fragrance and I don't and I haven't found the perfect match in this foundation line. So four stars. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I do prefer more natural brands, you know, brands that avoid certain ingredients. I'm not 100% natural and not 100% a purist, not anymore, but I really wanted to try this out. So I picked it up. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract in the color 560 medium. So it's vegan, cruelty free. I don't know if you know that, but a couple years back, CoverFX was one of the biggest companies that went cruelty free and a lot of them followed suit. So now we have Garnier and like other big drugstore companies that were not cruelty free. Now they're cruelty free, which is amazing. So that is why I wanted to support and I really wanted to pick this up and try it out. The fact that it was a vegan and they used it's not natural, but they do formulate without like certain ingredients. But anyway, the foundation itself is nice. I did really enjoy it. I would have to give it a three stars out of five. It is a great formula. I love the shade. The shade is actually a great match for my skin tone. So that's a really good pro, but it does have these little flakes inside the foundation. It's kind of weird, but you apply it and you see all these little like flakes. You can just take them off and just kind of flick them off and they come off, but it's kind of annoying. So three stars out of five, hopefully they can reformulate and get rid of those flakes because I was not the only one that noticed them. A whole bunch of people were saying that it was a great foundation, but it does have these little, I don't know what it is. It is so hot in here, so I'm gonna try to hurry up. I do have so many foundations. Um, let's go on with, let's go on with this one right here. This one is from Cover FX. This is actually not even a foundation. Should I even include this in here? I'm just gonna leave it in here, even though it's not, I mean, it is a foundation, but it's kind of different. It's called their custom cover drops. And it's just these like pigment drops that you can add to your foundation to make it lighter or darker or to bronze your skin. They have bronzers, highlights, and like pigments like this, like skin colors. And I love this. It is one of my staple products in my makeup collection. I think it's like a must. So you can add this to a moisturizer and make your own like tinted moisturizer. You can add it to your SPF. It's just a pigment. It's very pigmented. I wouldn't recommend to use this on its own. Again, it's not really a foundation you can just use out of the bottle, unless that's what you really wanna do and give it a try. I tried it, it is so drying. <laughs> Again, it's just pigment, so there's really nothing uh, like moisturizing about it or anything like that. I think my rating for this one would have to be 4.5 out of five stars because again, it's not a foundation. I wouldn't wear this alone. G medium one, so it is a lighter shade. I, I like to use this shade, I add like a drop to foundations that are a little bit darker. So that is the color right here. Super pigmented, very lightweight. Uh, this one is from EVXO and this is their Peekaboo Liquid Mineral Foundation and I have the color Sedona. They don't have many shades, at least last time I checked, they only had like eight, maybe 10 shades, which is not a lot. I hope that they expand. I haven't really checked up on them to see, see if they come out with any new products or any new shades, so I don't really know. Uh, but this used to be one of my absolute favorite foundations. I loved it so much. I do have a full video review of this foundation. I'll link it down below as well. It was actually a couple years ago before they changed their packaging. So their packaging is now more eco-friendly with glass and bamboo. So I do really appreciate that, that they're going for an eco-friendly approach. And this formula is amazing. If you love a dewy foundation, light to medium coverage. I highly recommend this one. But again, I don't know if they're gonna have your shade because they don't have that many shades. Uh, this one's made in the US, organic ingredients. It has light to medium coverage, cruelty-free, gluten-free. 
I would have to give this 4.5 stars out of 5 only because it's not the perfect shade for me. The next foundation I have is from Marc Jacobs and this is called the Extra Shot. This is actually a foundation and concealer in one. I got the color I have it in the color medium 260 and I did pick this up at Marshalls. If you watched my, uh, I think it was like a beauty haul, full face of Marshalls makeup. This is the color right here and it's actually a really nice formula. It definitely gives me more like a medium to full coverage. I don't know if you can see that, like very pigmented. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what type of rating I should give it because I do really like the formula. The shade is actually a good shade. It's not the perfect shade, but it's very close. This one works great as a concealer and foundation, so I really like this one a lot. I just wish it had better ingredients because this is probably something that I wouldn't buy again. I just bought it just to try it out. But I would give it a 4.5 out of five stars. I almost forgot to share with you which ones I'm decluttering out of my collection. So these four right here are gonna be out of my makeup collection, my makeup organizer. I'm not gonna trash them because I'm still gonna keep them as reference. I like to do that just so that I can compare products and formulas just for my channel, but these are gonna be the ones that I'm not gonna use anymore. And these, these are the ones that I'm gonna keep. I really do enjoy all of these formulas, even though they're not like the perfect match. I still wanna keep them in my collection and keep using them. All right, so those were all of the foundations in my collection. I hope that you enjoyed this little rating type of video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. <laughs>